advertisements are everywhere. While they once only existed on the radio, television, and newspapers, now you seemingly can't even take a few steps without someone trying to sell you something. Over the last generation, the art of advertising has become even more nuanced and carefully created. Still, you know when you see an ad. That's because they really are everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. There's still one place where ads have barely ventured, the final frontier of space. For many reasons, major companies have yet to break out of our atmosphere and sell their goods among the stars. Why is that? More importantly, what would it look like if NASA, or any other space agency such as SpaceX, made the radical choice to place adverts on their high-flying creations? First of all, it's important to ask the question, why aren't there ads in space? And surely not because of a lack of real estate, since there's plenty of, well, space to place adverts. In fact, the night sky is a lot like an empty canvas that is technically a perfect place for ads to appear. Would it be expensive and hard to achieve? It certainly would. But would it be worth the time and money? There is no doubt about it. Even if people scoffed at the concept or thought of it as disrespectful or classless, you certainly can't deny that seeing a giant Coca-Cola logo on the side of a ship or satellite will get people talking. One company that has successfully put an ad on a rocket was Pizza Hut. In 2001, Pizza Hut paid roughly $1 million to place their logo on one of Russia's Proton rockets. This agreement also included promotional footage of Yusachov giving a thumbs up after eating a slice of pizza. It is said that this placement was so wildly successful, despite being the only one of its kind. But there is a reason this was done with a Russian rocket and not an American one. In America, for example, exploration among the stars is regulated and run by NASA, which is a government agency. Since it's a federal body, NASA is restricted from endorsing or even seemingly endorsing any business or product. This is why I've never seen Buzz Aldrin trying to sell you a car. The rules around this have softened over the years. In fact, nowadays, the only steadfast rule is that NASA and its employees cannot partake in whatever is considered as obtrusive advertising. Still, there is only a slim chance that NASA would ever enter a partnership with a company and would allow logos on any of their vehicles. However, SpaceX isn't NASA. It's a federally run company. It still exists on its own. So what is stopping SpaceX from plastering ads on the sides of a Falcon 9 or Starship? Technically, nothing stopped Elon Musk and his SpaceX from pasting ads on the sides of their ships. SpaceX is a private company, an enterprise that is able to do mostly whatever it wants. And Elon Musk is a savvy businessman, someone who understands the power of marketing. It stands to reason that this would be an idea he could warm up to. Perhaps the biggest thing preventing that possibility is the fact that Musk has never been a big fan of advertising. Answer this question. When was the last time you saw a commercial for a Tesla car? You can't recall one, can you? That's because Musk has never been fond of the art of the ad. He has always been much more interested in the quality of a product traveling via word of mouth. He knows that the best advertising doesn't have to be a showy jingle or a Super Bowl spot. Instead, the best way to capture the hearts and minds of consumers is to create a quality product and introduce an air of intrigue and a sense of cool. Why waste money on ads? Therefore, it's very likely that Elon Musk doesn't want ads on his SpaceX ships because he just doesn't really like them. That's the plain and simple, and very likely reason. And that's why SpaceX has never engaged in talks with other companies. Of course, it's also possible that Musk doesn't like the thought of his rockets being coated in ads because it just looks visually unappealing. Beyond the rules and regulations, there are a number of reasons why many shudder at the thought of advertising on rockets. It looks very of the moment and opportunistic. It makes space travel feel like a way to make money, not a way to explore and traverse the stars for the betterment of mankind. Of course, space travel has rarely been a capitalistic enterprise. Originally, it was all about pushing humankind past its known limits. Times have changed, and there is an entire growing industry revolving around companies making money via flying into the stars. So technically, there is nothing wrong with the thought of advertising on rocket ships and other space technology. But it may take a long time for people to warm up to the premise. It feels out of place, but it may soon become the norm because the entire concept of space travel has changed from a patriotic endeavor to a way to make money. And money is important when you're talking about space travel because let's face it, Flying into the cosmos is not cheap. Elon Musk himself has estimated that the Falcon 9 spaceship could cost around $28 million per launch. That's a major chunk of change, while the reusability of other SpaceX creations, such as the Starship, will drive down prices considerably, there is no doubt that space tech companies are devoting massive sums when they are manufacturing these cutting-edge creations. 
if a business like SpaceX, Relativity Space, or Blue Origin decide to endorse and accept advertising on their rockets, they will go a long way to closing any budgetary gaps. They will be making millions upon millions of dollars, lowering the overall cost of any flight operations. In 2020, it cost about $6 million for an ad in the Super Bowl. You can bet that any advert on the side of a high-powered ship, like Falcon 9, will cost a great deal more than that. That sort of sum could possibly cover the cost of the rocket launch. Musk has mentioned that some modern spaceship launches may only require a $2 million payment because of the reusable tech. If that's the case, just one logo plastered on the side could be used to pay for an entire ship's trip. In many ways, advertising with space companies makes a lot of sense for both sides. Whichever company is putting up the money is going to get a massive amount of exposure in an inventive, radical, and buzzworthy way. And the company accepting the money is going to have a healthy portion of their budget covered by just one little image. Yet the entire idea remains a no-go for many companies, at least for now. But just because SpaceX and its peers are refusing to accept the money from eager companies doesn't mean that ads aren't making their way to the stars. There are other enterprises looking to help companies broadcast from the heavens. One of them is the Russian startup Star Rocket, which is aiming to create space-based ads which will be launched into low Earth orbit and be visible only at night, but from just about anywhere on the planet. Star Rocket's ads will be crafted by a vast arrangement of tiny satellites. They would each come with a reflective sail measuring about 30 feet in diameter. But together, the satellites will be able to create recognizable art or logos. They would immediately capture the attention and imagination of millions, if not billions of people. There has been no word on how much Star Rocket would charge for such state-of-the-art work, but you can bet that a company would be willing to spend millions and millions of dollars for something like that. Star Rocket swears that the science behind their idea is solid, grounded, and ready to go. They've even said that they could have a first ad floating above the surface of Earth within a year. Does this mean that you'll soon see a commercial for your next car or cell phone provider next to the moon or Big Dipper? The truth is that nothing is really preventing ads from being put on rockets. While NASA has rules that prevent such things from happening, they are becoming more and more relaxed and reasonable. However, SpaceX and other private enterprises have no sort of regulation. They could begin creating partnerships with other companies as soon as they wanted. What is stopping them is a lack of interest from those calling the shots whether it be because of an adamant respect for a deeply held view of space travel or a dollar amount that just doesn't hit the spot. CEOs like Elon Musk have yet to allow ads on their scientific marvels, but that could change. As the field of space travel organizations grows and competition becomes stronger, there will probably come a time in the future when we do see advertisements clinging onto the side of a rocket ship. If that happens and is met with acceptance, you can bet that SpaceX, NASA, and many others might rethink their choices and could also begin accepting offers. It's unlikely that rocket ships will ever become a new form of billboard, but it is possible that it may be tastefully decorated with ads. A rocket ship adorned with the logo of a major company flying into space might not be that far off. It gives a whole new meaning to the term pop-up ad, doesn't it?